Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. We got some big news last night and it came from Google and they just announced that you can play Google Stadia on your iOS device. But before we get into that, please show some support for the channel, hit that subscribe button, chat to us in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you like it. Okay, so Google have not um, produced a Stadia app as such to play on iOS. Instead, they've managed to work it through the Safari browser that's default on your iOS device. And all you've got to do is go to stadia.com, log in. Once you've logged in, that's it. Now, the only thing you've got to remember, or the only thing you need to know, is that your, your iPad or your iPhone needs to have iOS 14.1 at least. Um, I've got an old iPad Air, the first edition I think, and it's running at iOS 12.5 or something. Okay, so here we go. We've got, you can plug your controller in, we'll do that in a minute. Um, we'll try the touchpad. I do not recommend you using the touchpad at all. Oh, took a screenshot, shouldn't have done it. Now it's running, it looks okay. But look, we've got the URL search bar at the top. Um, now we don't want that. So to get rid of that, go up to the share button, go all the way down, add to home screen. Click on that, Stadia. Now go add. And oh, I've done it twice now, you'll see here, there is a Stadia app. And now it is widescreen. So let's put this on my little stand. Hit play. Turn my Stadia controller on. Down B, down A. So my controller is now linked. Press B to skip. And that's it, we're on. Now, if you don't have a Stadia controller, you can use uh, a Bluetooth controller or there is another way of getting a cable, uh, a lightning cable into the bottom and plug in something hardwired in that way. Uh, the Stadia controller works really well. They were doing an offer, uh, buy a Cyberpunk and get the Stadia Premier pack which is the Chromecast and the controller. They were doing it all for 40 quid uh, which is really impressive. So uh, yeah that's it. I am just on act two at the moment and it's pretty responsive. Oh she looks good. Um, relies heavily on oh, buying vehicles, I haven't bought one yet. Relies heavily on your internet connection. Um, so you do need, if you've got five, uh, five gigahertz network, stick it on that. Um, will be much better. If you've got 5G, I think it will work fine on 5G. 4G, probably not. Um, but yeah. I mean, I'm impressed with how well Cyberpunk runs on Stadia anyway, um, and a lot of people agree it's far better than the uh, console versions. Um, and PC, obviously if you've got a good PC it's going to run fine. Uh, bugs, I've not come across too many, um, I've, I've come across a few, um, nothing too, too bad. Now for me, I think playing on an iPhone just isn't, the screen isn't big enough. If I had an iPad, I think I would definitely use it. Um, but iPhone, I don't know, it's not, it's all a bit too small for me. And if I had a, a newer iPad, I'd definitely be testing it on that. That's a wrap on this video. Thank you very much for staying around. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. What do you guys think of Stadia? Some people or most people say it's dead. I don't know. Um, Cyberpunk plays really well on it and I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, please make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.